I interrupt like to, the honourable member. Call to your own level. Tenaku, Mr. Speaker, kia ora tātou katoa, ngā whanangi haramai i tawhiti, e te moana nui a kiwa haramai, era rau, ki roto i te whare nei, a hakoa tōna ahua, he rite ki te, he ahua pā ke hā nei, tōna motunga ana ko noho nei mātou, a tiwi Māori ki konei, hei kaui ngā wawatau te ao Māori. Tenaku tau, hare mai, hare mai, hare mai rā. Mr. Speaker, when the Māori Party acknowledged the relationship between tangata whenua and the people, our brothers and sisters of, of the Pacific, te moana nui a kiwa. As we travelled from Hawaii, we shared an ancient knowledge of the stars and the oceans. That knowledge is passed down to us to this day in our tukutuku panels which adorn the walls of our kaua whare throughout the motu. Today, in this place, Mr. Speaker, we pay tribute to the rich oral traditions of our ancient navigators who guided us from the past to this future. From our whakapapa connections, our genealogical connections, we have an obligation to support the well-being of our brothers and sisters in the Pacific as Māori. As our closest neighbours, our security, stability, prosperity is closely linked. On a personal level, our people interact every day and must unite to face the challenges that we all experience. We say that the strength of Māori and Pacifica peoples lies in our ainga, our whānau, our communities who pull together to bring change for ourselves. Our key priority, whānau ora, has been described by our Pacifica relations, our Pacifica whanaunga, as restoring the role of the village. We stand together, Mr Speaker, in the pursuit of mana motuhake. We support Pacifica nations in growing your own local accountability and success, rather than foistering a system of private enterprise upon them that may not fit either the culture or the people. Mr Speaker, our view in the Māori Party is that we should assist rather than dominate development. We support Pacifica nations in their journey to realise their own modern aspirations on their own land in line with their own tikanga and their own traditions. Here in Aotearoa, Mr Speaker, we have provided a place to live for many people who call the Pacific home. Just as in Māori communities where young people leave their papakainga for urban areas, those left at home feel the loss of their most talented and those who have left feel a loss of connection. We must support our Pacifica relations to remain connected to their homelands, maintaining the essence of who they are. So we call this rangatira tanga, others might say mana motuhake, the ability to be strong in your own identity, language and culture. We think the key for any people's lies in developing their own solutions as a more effective, efficient and enduring response. We believe in the greater community development and less governmental bureaucracy. Mr Speaker, the focus of the Māori Party is to bring to fruition the aspirations of New Zealanders through self-determination, kaupapa tukuihu and a commitment to the Treaty of Waitangi. In the Pacific, we would expect the same, that your own forms of business and governance which were in place in many years prior to the arrival of the Palangi European colonisation will stand you in, in good stead for the generations to come. It's wonderful to have you all here, our relations, and I want to finish by paying tribute to all of the Pacifica's brothers and sisters who have stood by Māori with the land march of 1975, the hikoi of 2004, and in our mutual desire to honour the Treaty of Waitangi. Likewise, we have stood by our Pacifica communities throughout the traumatic history of the Dawn Raids in the 1970s and in confronting and addressing so many of the educational, economic and uh, social yardsticks by which our peoples are measured. Tangata Pacifica and Tangata Whenua have always shared a common bond in our connections through our ancestry, our culture and our customs. We both understand implicitly concepts which run to the core of our being, our land, our whenua, the central link to our genealogical connections as an enduring umbilical cord, pito, between yesteryear and tomorrow. I wish all of you delegates that are with us today all the very best. I look forward to the continuing dialogue that is so vital to our ongoing relationships with one another. 
In closing, Mr. Speaker, I listened earlier and noted that some of some of the parties have been pitching uh, are pitching to you as our visitors for their vote. I will not do that myself, Mr. Speaker. Suffice to say that which of these words sound sweeter to you, my Pacific brothers and sisters? Which words sound sweeter, look sweeter, and maybe even smell sweeter? New Zealand first, Labour, national, or Maori? Thank the member. Have a good conference. I call the Honourable John Banks. Mr. Speaker, much of this debate has been about New Zealand's relationship.